this may not be something you've done before, so I want to show you how to feed the Levin. And it begins with, in my case, uh, I keep a box of these plastic gloves on hand because the Levin is a very acidic culture by nature. It's not anything specific about my Levin. It's just the way Levins are. And if you handle it frequently by hand, sometimes the acids don't react well with your skin. So I use, uh, what I'm going to do is remove most of this Levin, all but 100 grams uh, from my dough bucket here. Now, to make this sensible, uh, I like to know that the weight of my dough bucket um, when it's completely empty, which I've measured before, and I know this is a 410 gram dough bucket at, when it's empty. So when I've got all but 100 grams of the Levin removed, then everything in here is going to weigh 510 grams. So I start like before, I zero my scale, and then I take the Levin bucket, and this is, I've referred to before, as spent fuel. So we throw that all away. It's going to be a little more liquefied for you, uh, because typically you're throwing this away about 24 hours after its most recent feeding. Um, I'm trying to take advantage of the schedule of uh, uh, my day and my videographer. <laughs> so um, this Levan is about a 12 hour blend and you can see it's not as liquid as it will become in another 12 hours. So when you're feeding it in the morning, if you're on a daily feeding schedule, uh, you're going to remove all but 100 grams. And I just want you to know that your visual cue is going to be just a little bit different. Mostly what I want you to see is what 100 grams looks like in the bucket. This says 547. I got 410 in bucket weight, so that means I've got a, that is 137 grams of Levant. So I'm not done yet. I need to remove another 30 grams, 37 grams, and that's about what I got there. Don't feel the need to be exact. I'm at 530 now, so I've got 120 grams. I'm getting close. You get the idea, though. Basically, you're removing all so that. Uh, if you know your bucket weight, add 100 grams to that, and that's what you'll have left. That is 110 grams of Levan left in the bucket. That's what I want you to see. After that, this is real simple. You add flour, water, and you mix it by hand. Uh, I call for a certain amount of whole wheat flour blended with a greater amount of white flour. And if you want to know the, know the numbers, buy my book. It's worth buying. It's a cool book. All right. And then I add water to it. Uh, this water is at, no surprise, a specific temperature. And then, like the other doughs, like everything else in my method, so we mix it by hand. One of the great joys, I think, of this method, this is less of the Levant than it is for the other doughs. So you may have noticed that the flour is weighed, the auto lease is mixed, the hand mix, the folds, everything is done in the same bucket. And there's, you're not dirtying up a lot of equipment, so it makes it easy and clean. You see, I'm just squeegeeing off the excess off of my fingers with my other hand. Et voila, c'est fini. We have the mixed levain. Levain. You can pronounce it however you want. I don't like levain. Levain sounds kind of French. Thank you.